plaintiff, Kimberly Ferdinand, says in 2011, she lost custody of her children after she got a DUI, but she's currently in the process of getting them back. Kimberly claims she allowed the defendant to rent a room in her home, but she got them evicted. So Kimberly's suing for eviction fees and the cost of a hotel stay. Defendant Crystal Bird admits that after she took over Kimberly's lease, she lost her job for fighting at work and was unable to pay rent. Crystal's countersuing for harassment. Start with you. Hello, Your Honor. Um, I just want to start by saying, although I am not comfortable with being in court today, I will say I have had my fair share of courts. And being in your courtroom, I watch you all the time. I know that you know a liar and a manipulator. Um, <laughs> what I would like to say is um, around 2011, I have had my fair share of trouble. So I'm not just going to come on here and bash her. You know, I had went through some postpartum, started drinking, caught a DWI, lost my kids. I'm in the process of getting them back, though. It just oh. wasn't a good year for me, 2011. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of that year, um, I had moved into a place, you know, to try to get them back. Um, that was about August. Um, you know, I was living there. It was a two bedroom. I ran into Crystal. And where do you know Crystal from? Um, I met her through my youngest child's father. When? 2010. What was it like being friends with it? I mean, she was fun in the beginning. Um, I didn't have no friends, no family in Charlotte. So when I met Miss Bird, you know, she was like a sister to me. We immediately clicked. I let her stay with me November of 2012. Okay, and that's what you're suing for eviction. So let me allow her to give some background first. Go ahead. Yana, can the baby get in the middle of us? Why? Because Miss Ferdinand, she said you know a liar. You talking to one. Because all that stuff she's saying is not true. All right. I came here with eight nails and I want to leave with eight nails because she is a firecracker. She's a bully. She, if she don't get what she wants, she goes over the top. Now, you went over my head with the eight nails. <laughs> yes. Was I got eight nails. I came to Chicago with eight nails. Oh. You should have ten. I know. <laughs> so I'm not trying to lose the rest of them. That's why I told you to put him in the middle. <laughs> you all got into a fight since she came? We had an altercation way back when, but it didn't get physical. Well, what about your nails? <laughs> <laughs> break no more. But you only have eight. I know. What happened to the other two? They broke while oh, they somebody broke. else? Yeah. Well, well, no. You just need to stop fighting. <laughs> You're right. Get in there because she's going to break her nails. <laughs> no, she want to break them on you. So get back. Oh, I don't want, no, you can come on back. I don't want her to break them on you. All right. Now, what, tell me about you all's friendship <laughs> since 2010. Um, like she said, you know, me and her son's father have been best friends for over 10 plus years. Mm -hmm. So that's how we came to be friends. And I thought, I, I thought, I think I'm a good friend. I mean, what she think about me, I didn't ever, I didn't know she felt like that to today. She said you all were decent friends until, Yeah, uh, when she talking about that rent. Okay, well, let me hear about the rent. What happened? How did she came to live with you, you say? Yes. What were the terms of her... Well, when she Living came to you. stay with me, she had a newborn child. Mm -hmm. You know, I had the extra space, and it was rent-free because he was a newborn. I was allowing her to get back on her feet. But December, I decided, well, you know what? I want to be with my family and my children. So I decided I'm going to go to Boston to be with my child, and I was going to put in a 30-day notice to vacate to the management. Well, Ms. Bird thought it would be a good idea that, you know, well, I don't have nowhere to go with my son, and it's cold, can, you know, can we come up with an agreement that I would pay the remainder of the lease? Which was? Which was that she takes... Uh, How many months left? From December 12 mm -hmm. to, I believe, July okay. 13. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, when I come back to Charlotte, you know, because I thought everything was going to be good in Boston, and when I came back, I had a padlock on my door and a yellow uh, piece of paper. So I tried to get in contact with Ms. Bird. Her phone disconnected. There's no way to get in contact with her. So, you know, I've been struggling because not only has she, you know, took off, it's like now I'm dealing with an eviction. So it's hard for me to find a place in North Carolina with an eviction. It's like no second chance housing. Um, so, you know, um, I'm in shelters. I'm, I'm, I'm living from house to house. I become pregnant. I'm in a maternity home. 
And then I oh, find myself. How you get pregnant, homeless? <laughs> well, you can stay wherever you, know, you lay things... down. You should have just not left. Well, but I mean, <laughs> thank you. Uh, is, come on, baby, it's time to go. No, I ain't going nowhere. Thank you. <laughs> I'm staying Girl, right I, here. I've been, I've been with the same guy four years. And it's right. not like I was like completely homeless, but if it wasn't mine and my name wasn't on that lease, it wasn't mine. I could have got put out any given chance. But I was staying house to house, shelter to shelter. You can't put it, all your worldly troubles on her uh, for failing to pay the rent that she was obligated to pay or that she agreed to pay. Yes, and I'll Honor. let you give me the months, but you tell me what happened now. I'm going to be honest with you because I'm going to be a woman. I, I, I paid. Because you want to be my woman. No, I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> I'm a little country. I'm sorry. What'd you I'm say? I'm going to be a woman. Oh, a woman. Yeah. Okay. All right. And be yeah. honest. All right. We did have an agreement. I did pay partial for one month. And the reason why I couldn't continue to pay the rest of the month, because to be honest, I was partying and I had got into a little altercation at work a violent altercation, and I got fired. But see, it wasn't my fault why I had a violent altercation. So you're living a destructive lifestyle. No, it's not destructive. Well, obviously, you were partying too much if it caused you to miss paying your rent. Well, yeah, and That's sorry. called destructive lifestyle. Partying too much is a destructive lifestyle. Fighting at work is certainly a destructive lifestyle. Yana, that wasn't my fault. Because my mama always raised me. If someone hits you, you hit them back. <laughs> That's how my mom raised me. Tell and me what happened at work. She, it was this girl, she was always bullying me. Just like she bullies me. She's ratchet. She bullies me. <laughs> and I wasn't going to take being bullied. So she um, had an altercation with me. I turned around and walked away and proceeded to go do my job. That's what you do. She threw an ink pen at me. And I took my hat off and I said, I'm, I'm fired because I know what I'm finna do. <laughs> so I did what I did and I got fired. I'm in shelters. I'm, I'm, I'm living from house to house. I become pregnant. And then I oh, find myself. Oh, you get pregnant homeless? <laughs> well, you can stay wherever you, know, you laid down. You should have just not left. Well, but I mean, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Come on, baby, it's time to go. No, I ain't going nowhere. Thank you. <laughs> Plaintiff Kimberly Ferdinand is suing her former friend because she claims after the defendant took over her lease, she got Kimberly evicted. Tell me the rent fees you're suing for. She's I'm admitting suing. pretty much that she got fired and could not pay and Girl, partied I'm, the rest of the money up, but go ahead. I'm suing her for the amount of $2,080. That's for the eviction fees. That's the You have the something you were looking yes, at Yes, um, here's the agreement and here is Right there. Those are the uh, months that she hasn't paid. All right. Now, where's the other 1300 or so? Um, this from? is coming from the hotel stay. I didn't get to that part, but right you here. You can hand it to me and tell me. Okay. Um, I ended up in a hotel because it was so cold in Charlotte, Your Honor. And I felt like, you know, I had a little job under the table. Every place I went to stay, you know, stay with my friends, if I didn't give enough money, they would put me out, you know. So mm -hmm. I'm like, let me go get a room. But Miss Bird, when I got the room, around the time, magically contacts me with her kid in some bags. She contacts the baby's father, and he's like, well, Chris don't have nowhere to stay. She got put out the shelter with her baby, and can she stay with you? At first, I was like, no. But then, once again, here I go, poor judgment. I let her stay with me on the terms of, we have to split the room fees because it's 311 a week. In Charlotte, North Carolina, you don't get paid enough to pay $300 a week for anything. She hasn't done that. So it took for me to move out the hotel room to, to get rid of her and, and find another place to stay, which I did, by the grace so of God. You all became roommates again in February of 14? Yes, Your Honor, the end of January. Then why don't you think you should pay your share, or have you? How am I going to pay a share with no job? <laughs> Your Honor, she had a job and she was collecting work. What parts. happened to that? You jumped on somebody again? No, I don't jump on what people. What happened to that job? What, you talking about the job I got an altercation with? No, she says you've had a job since then. No, I haven't. I had a baby in 2012. <laughs> then... People have babies and go back in 90 days, routinely. Well, it, I didn't do that. 
Why? I didn't feel like, because it was hard. You are ratchet. You write about her. (laughs) Ratchet. Yes, she is ratchet. What's your counterclaim for? 500. How does she owe you? Because she was, she's her friends, the text mentioned something about I played her about her money. And when she's talking about I contacted her baby father, I don't have to contact her baby father because he's my best friend. So anything, if I want something done, he'll help me do it. All right, well, good. He can help you pay this $3,324. That's your judgment. Yours is dismissed. Have a good day. I say nothing to me because in good. the future she's gonna be right back at my doorstep needing me for something. I got my own place. So you better think about that. I got my own place. Whatever. Thank you. You better think about Door, that. Can I go?